right. Okay, cool. Alright, uh, three, two, one, go. Okay, so, what's up everyone on Peaches? I didn't really expect this to come up, but I'm playing Blast Core with one hand. Ah, uh, I don't really know what to say. Um, it's a pretty hard game. The whole point of the game is you're supposed to clear the path for this missile carrier. And as soon as we figure something else out, it's it's got a reputation for being pretty tough, but I play it all the time. And if they had enough time, uh, they were saying that they would let me do 100%, but that there's not enough time for that. But you should check out my stream, and that's what, right beneath me? Yeah. And uh, I stream this game a lot, so you should go follow me on Twitch TV and check it out. Yeah, that's two underscores on that on that uh, address, too. Yeah, someone took my name with one underscore and got it, like, banned for violating some rules. I don't know what that was about. And can you see the screen that he's playing with one hand? Yeah, it it says one hand along the bottom. Is it pretty visible? Yeah, they, they can definitely see the chair. So. Okay. expecting to get like low to mid 30s. So it's not too bad with one hand. I would like them at least in the room, yes. What sort of input you get? Uh, we're just gonna we have to use SD because of the load thing. Uh -huh. Can I do this? Well, we're not gonna be doing uh, yeah, just SD or composite. Uh, I'm Drew. You wouldn't know I'm Drew. Oh, okay. Composite. Yeah, I have like one you on. play Half Life. <laughs> I mean, I'm watching play Mario. But <laughs> you're gonna have to show me how to get a fucking uh, what is it? A 270 exit on the first level? It's impossible. It's impossible, dude. I always get like 269. <laughs> Do you mind if I read some donations while you're blasting cores? Go for it. <laughs> Alright. Fresh. <laughs> okay, we got $20 from Neil Opens. Uh, no, we already read this one, didn't I? I think I did. Um, $10 from William Fanning. Uh, $10 from Stefan Warter. Love you guys. Greetings from Germany. Hope you will get millions of money for your foundation, and I hope that you will play Zelda if you haven't before. Uh, I'm sure most of us here have. <laughs> What's Zelda? <laughs> $20 from Linda Davies, who said, Well done, Paul, from lag.mom and lag.dad and lag.bro. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. $40 from Carmela Kelly. Please accept this donation towards Jordan Mullins, my grandson. If he raises $2,000, he promised he would get his 15-inch long haircut. I thought he was going to shave it. Huh? Like, shave his hair. Well, yeah, shaving, shaving is getting cut. Yeah, okay. Officially, it's marked as shaving, so that's what he has to hold up to. So, yeah, I think we only have 80 for that. So, if you want to see uh, a shaving ad for the DVD burn. He got $5 from Casey Crichton. 
have been waiting for a reason to chip in another bit. Fun times during the awful game, as well as great runs from everyone in between. But the fact that you guys are running to put in games to fill time is great. But the fact that last core is added, amazing. Looking forward for more great runs. And let's break 50k today. Baggage. I think we can do that. Well, our current total. We're currently at $38,215.38. So, I mean, considering the rate we've been going, I don't think it's that unreasonable to get another 12 pay for it. <laughs> of course, we've got some really exciting games coming up. Uh, Half Life is going to be next. Um, and then we have our uh, we have Halo, Super Meat Boy, we got our Mario block, um, Ghouls and Ghosts coming up after that, and then Castlevania, our huge Castlevania block coming up later tonight or tomorrow morning, depending on where you live. We may. I think uh, we do have Crushy on site, and I, we're seeing about possibly doing another run of Castlevania for... Uh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, I have to, I have to ask a question to Peach. Is how much to get you to rub your stomach while you play with your other hand? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> give you pat your head, maybe. Pat, pat, your, pat your head. Don't need a hundred dollars at all. Pet my. Pat your head and <laughs> rub your stomach well, while playing with your foot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's gonna go that far. And take your shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> Undress while playing. While singing the Pokemon theme song. <laughs> I'm not on IRC on this. Uh, this is Frank Act. This is Frank Act. Uh, just like somewhere over there is fine. I don't know how to manage this. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I don't know who's in anything. If you're just joining us, this is Awesome Games Done Quick, being hosted by Speed Demos Archive, your number one source for video game speedruns. Uh, we're currently watching Blast Corps being run by Peaches to fill some time since we're ahead of schedule for once. And uh, with all the money we're raising during this marathon is going straight to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. So be sure to donate if you haven't already, or even if you have. We've got lots of great prizes coming up. Of course, you can donate at any time for a chance at one of our grand prizes, like the life-size Master Sword. Uh, we've got our Twitter contest you can read more about on our site, speedemosarchive.com. Our uh, Serious Time t-shirts are on sale at theyeti.com, that's T-H-E-Y-E-T-E-E.com. $11 for a shirt, $3 of every purchase goes to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. You can find a link for that on our site as well. I hope you'll stick around because we've got lots of awesome days coming up throughout this entire weekend. 3.3, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, well... Um, no, no, no.
tried to just use chip in at the last marathon. Oh, the uh, DRDQ, yeah. Yeah, it was... It was it, it's, it's difficult to it do, was, especially with the volume that we're getting. It was slow, yeah, because all the... Like, every time we'd refresh the page, we'd have to lose all the thousands of donations we had. Oh, yeah. I mean, what do we have to do? Yeah. Uh, or 30, over 38,000. It's, it's 10 grand a day for 7 days. We're going to get... We might, we might hit uh, 50k tonight. Yikes. We keep it the way we're going. we got a lot of good days coming up. Oh yeah, well, I mean, we haven't even gotten some of our biggest games. Um, I am Final Fantasy so VII, of course. So for Super Meat Boy. Uh, all the Mario games, Mario RPG, Earthbound. Oh wait, when is it coming? When is it coming? I hope I can yeah. donate the remote so I can put some of the screen as box copy. Earthbound is on Sunday? Yeah, it's on Sunday night. Alright. I won't be here, but I'll donate. We've got Mario Galaxy, Mario 64 right after that. Yeah, that's how my Sunday night's going to be. <laughs> yeah. Link to the Past, Earthbound, Mario 64, Mario Galaxy. If I'll you missed start, that, then you are right there. SOL. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, let's talk about this game being run right now. Let's talk about this game being run right now. I know I'm going to get to the And right now I'm going for a one cycle. Uh, there's a scientist really deep in this level. Sleep? What is that? And you barely have time to get to him. If you do the level really well. And I think I did it well enough. Oh look, half life stole that. Picking up the vehicle with the crane. Yeah, All right. <laughs> now I gotta do uh, the blast core zip. Let me see. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> How does that work? Uh, it does. Yeah, it's like. like <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, what would you get to do? Uh, drive all the way around. <laughs> So yeah, probably have that nervous though. Two and a half hours, I'm like three hours, three hours. I thought that was for Halo. Yeah. Most people do that. It's really. I want to watch Half-Life though. Yeah. I played that. It's too. I think Yeah. I do like it. Because they never bothered to release support for a Mac. Yeah, it is. Really? Sierra was going to do it, but they pulled out the last minute. That sucks. So, like, it exists somewhere. Yeah, but now I'm not all of them. Well, this is way back. Way back. I mean, Half-Life came out in, what, 98? Can you play, like, Half-Life Source now that they have the Mac course for that? Yeah. Okay. Is that what you're But it's not the same. No, it didn't download it. Of course not. Okay. 
actually. That's the one thing I've been talking about. I have to uh, present your mode. Yeah. Did you guys have a set up where you put multiple? It's all right. Not, nothing will be more private than your story. Yeah, yeah. It's important. Yeah. It's just like the demon takes it. That's all you need to know. Wow. So I think you can start having a box. And be like, I get this. It should be. 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 I know how half of it is. I think I said what it's like. And we can't put it in the window. Yeah. We can't put it in the window. Um, so when I was doing the Portal 2 guide, they had a, a writer's room, and I was just taking a look at it. And I had all the cards up on the wall. On the, on the, on the so I was looking at the beautiful thing. And, um, well, yeah, but I told them, I'm like, hey, because they were having press come to play the game. I'm like, you should probably, like, Turn on the writer's room because it's ready for us when we press it. And they're like, uh oh. Because they forgot about it, so they tore it down and they, they're like, oh, we're not sign this and you have to tell nobody. Yeah. Yeah. So I can't tell you what happens, but I can tell you what I know. I don't want you to tell me what happens. I know, and now I'm going to. And I'm going to be like, I'm going to think of the game and be like, I know it's pretty good. I'm not even going to be surprised. That, I wouldn't put it past it. Difficult burden to bear. Because there was some pretty yeah, far out stuff, like so yeah. Yeah. I'm hoping it is good. Is it still kind of like that? Or is it going to get better? I didn't know. Is that going to mess up? No, it doesn't matter to me because I'm used to it. Uh, uh, maybe. Maybe. Like That's fine. Oh, well, the stream's only running. It's only uh, 5,000 people yeah. or so. Yeah. 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 I guess otherwise it chops too much. Oh, okay. Oh, you never left me in the middle of the movie. What what is the uh what's the premiere glass course meeting on the internet? Yeah. What website should I go to if I want to learn more about this game? Just go to my stream. There's no website. It's it's really just me. Peach is the driving force behind all glass core related. Yeah, like I found all the tricks. All it's actually got a little ragtag team like race it together. I don't know. Yeah, like if you go to speedruns live, there's a couple of people who do race it with me, but it's not really competition. It's just like <laughs> people have fun. <laughs> No. He <laughs> <laughs> like, challenges for himself. Like, okay, this time I'll play blindfolded. This time I'll play. Uh, Is that where the one-handed thing came from? We had a race where where I was with one hand and everyone else was two, and I still won by like three minutes. How do you play an N64 game one-handed? Well, you're no, no, you got you don't, yeah, you don't, I guess you don't really need. Yeah, you don't need that many buttons. buttons. No way. I, oh man, it's been so long. I, I didn't understand this game when I was playing it because it was like whatever idiot. I don't know how many year old, eight year old, seven year old. Uh, I didn't really understand this, and I didn't really understand why you had to destroy everything. It didn't make any sense to me. I'm like, are you supposed to be like open <laughs> or something? Yeah. And so you just learned a valuable life lesson as a kid. So oh. understand. And I, I just, I, I did not get it at all. Like, this game is stupid. Then I played it later. I'm like, oh, it's cool. <laughs> And you get money for destroying stuff. Exactly. Instead of being charged. So, um, wow, was this a donation for the money? Yeah, there's some people well, donating. They wanted to see it. Yeah. Well, it was just donations to see Blast Door, and I don't know, the one hand thing was really good. I would have liked to have done 100%, but there wasn't enough time for it, so I figure I'll just do, like, the next coolest thing. <laughs> How did your uh, Tokyo Mirror Run go, by the way? It was meh. Like, I ended up, uh, there was a really precise jump on floor 10 that I totally botched, and that ended up sending me, like, way back, but it was still under the, um, estimation, so I was cool with it. I was really pissed that I missed it. Like, I thought I went to sleep early enough that I would be up for it, and then I woke up, like, right after it was done. And I was like, really? Yeah, you didn't miss too great of a run. The Kid Chameleon run was really good, though. <laughs> I heard last screaming from kicking the other fans for that. <laughs> All right. I'm kind of like, I don't know what to do with it. And also making it get to be on the NES. This level's super hard yeah. to do with just Dude, the ball. I'm so that I probably just spent all day raising that barn. <laughs> <laughs> it was in the way, I had to blow yeah, it all. Yeah. Yeah. They give you a different vehicle to do that level with. Because they only give you 20 missiles, you're in super short supply. So it's really hard to just use the bullets like that. Cancel that. And what is the. Does this game have a story or no? Kinda, it's just like. 
there's this nuclear carrier, all right, no. and it just starts leaking, and there's an onboard transit GPS system that's like, oh crap, I'm leaking, I gotta go straight to my destination, even though there's crap in the way. So then I gotta go and blow up all the crap in the way. That's like the whole story. <laughs> so instead of having the nuclear missile devastate everything, the idea is that you're causing less damage. Uh, really well, but it's not, I guess. Yeah, but doesn't the nuke still go off? Yeah, it does. It's really weird. So like, then you you have it just doesn't make any sense, but well, that's kind of awesome. Yeah, it makes even less sense because they're like, oh, you need to go find these six scientists, and they're gonna set up a controlled de uh, detonation of the the missile carrier. But apparently all they do is they just like build a mountain and it drives into it. <laughs> it's really weird. You ball if you're looking for a, a new movie to make. Last course the license you've been looking for. All it is is explosions. That is like the So it ranks you after the uh, level? Uh, every three, or no, it's like every four golds you get you get a promotion. And they don't really mean anything, it's just for fun. But they're not tied to your stats. Oh, what's it? Oh, not tied to your performance? No, it's just um, you get one gold for just clearing the path, and then you get another gold for lighting up all those little flashing donut things, uh, and for blowing up all the buildings. I feel like back in like maybe some of this would have been right now the way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> he was ahead of the time. Oh, come on. I hate this vehicle. It's that big stiff walk. It was one of those situations we lost. Yeah, it's like why is it No, it's just this vehicle sucks. All it can do is just break dance in the buildings and it's really weak. Does this take place in Japan? Does this take place in the United States? It's always all over the place. Really? Oh, yeah. So there's a little carrier from the Yeah. Yeah, it just like drives across the ocean. Yeah, it just drives across the ocean. And what's the story explanation for your gating when you go to the. You're being paid to clean the path of your thing. By the government. I don't know. I don't know. I hope they told the people that. Somebody warned me before he's almost done because I'm not really. I got a couple of levels left. Do you mind if I read some more donations? Yeah, go for it. All right, we got twenty dollars from Jonathan Yee. Uh, I've really enjoyed this community over the past year and really appreciate all of your efforts and charity and everyone's entertaining streams. Cheers to the runners and their runs. Hope to race soon in the future. Again, the pajamas. Look at it. Yeah, you got a good start with the name. Uh, from uh, Mark Yubidov, ten dollars for emergency blast core run. Keep up the great work. You are all wonderful, There's especially peaches and lions. Thirty-five dollars from Andreas Berkeley. I've seen the start of Lagoon. Considering five USD of those to be consider five USD of those to be a consolation price for that. My God, have mercy on your thumbs. Put the rest towards Super Meat Boy. I know there's enough grappling sound in the screen every time I get Yeah, it's honey. You got $10 from Daniel Polger. I can do it 100%. 100%. 100 dollars from Claire Mewins. What's that? From Jigrag. Keep up the good work. Okay, so you have to block every single building. Are you still doing donations all over here? Do you have donations still? I do. Oh, okay. Well, 100% is, um, you have to blow up every building, you have to activate every RDU, and in most of the stages there's like radars that have bonus levels, and you have to go to the bonus levels, you have to get gold on all those, and then it sends you to outer space, <laughs> and you have to blow up stuff on the moon, and then race around Neptune, and it's really stupid, the storyline just like degenerates. And then after you do all that, you have to go back to Earth and blow up all the buildings even faster, and then once you do that, they go, oh, now you have to do everything faster, including the bonus levels, and then once you get platinum on all those, then it's done. <laughs> and it's 100%. Oh, you usually just get platinum on everything on the way Uh, there's some that you can't. Well, yeah. But, yeah. Well, that's actually the issue. Oh, okay. Let's go. Oh, it's sitting in a computer over there. It's stiff. Alright, $10 from Sean Zimmerman. Yet another 10, because Peaches is still awesome. Here's to that 28.43 time I'm going to score. Well, what is your best time? 
one-handed, I think it's like 32 something. It's like 32 10 or something. So it does make a little difference. <laughs> you can't play quite as well yet. Right. <laughs> are we getting are the speakers on? Okay. I didn't know if it didn't stream to do it. They probably could. We got five dollars from Mango Sango. One handed? You guys are ridiculous in a very good way. Could this go towards Super Mario World? I think we can arrange that. Just a reminder, even if it takes a while for us to read your comments, um, we usually get them attached to the vid you want well before we actually read them. So don't think that like if I don't yeah, for your public prizes. So don't think that like just because I don't read it right away that like it's not getting counted or something. It's usually already already well ahead of when I say it. Uh, Seventeen dollars from X9. Yeah, that's what I was uh, is crushes all. Yeah, yeah. Just be you're good. Yeah. I would have totally not read that. Yeah, I know. That's why. <laughs> you know I'm in here like that. From Alec Keen, we have ten dollars. This is for Peaches absolutely putting me to shame. I barely beat the last part of two hands. Also, go Apple for me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they just like melt the together. Collision right there. <laughs> yeah. Probably won't be happy. Oh, get in the hole. Yeah. There we go. So, what is the plot of this level? <laughs> uh, there's huge holes, and I gotta fill them up. Square holes. <laughs> I think it's funny how like it kind of it's, it's kind of childish because it's it's I know it's, it's literally it's like, like, yeah. it's just like no this level's horrible because there's like earlier on there's a diamond uh, concrete brick right by a diamond hole and if you push it in you lose <laughs> there's no way because you have to push it in a different hole and then get the two that are like later on this whole level just screws you over. I was thinking about how this game is sort of the equivalent of like a kid playing with gun parts and yeah. <laughs> How dare you just honor of black? No, I no, it's like no, it's a compliment. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Driving around uh, tractors, uh, destroying right. buildings. Yeah, I'm saving the world from that color annihilation by blowing it up. It's like the logic of a child. I understand this now. Okay. Okay. We've got ten dollars from Brian Yoli. No comments as of yet. And five dollars from Volney Warner. Hey Peaches, loved this game, but it made no sense to me. Put this five dollars towards building a giant treadmill for the slow moving truck to just keep moving <laughs> on. One handed, of course. <laughs> that would make more sense. That would make a lot more <laughs> sense. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Can you still get screwed here? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's harder to push the TNT with one hand, but I think I got it. Yeah. The timer's actually really I mean, really wouldn't long. the truck eventually run out of gas, too? They could just, like, get, make a leap in the gas tank. But you can't <laughs> touch it. It's, it's atomic power. Oh, you can't touch it. Okay. But, I mean, any... The, the problem is that any bumpy terrain, like, for example, that bump that you just crossed there would cause it to go off anyways, given the way they're explaining it. So. Okay, if somehow it's able to travel across the country, across the world... Through the ocean, but yeah. you can't stop it. Well, it's really weird. In a previous level, I didn't get a chance to show it because I was like going too slow with one hand. But uh, there's a windmill that the carrier just like plows it over, and it makes a big smoky explosion, and it doesn't matter. Like it doesn't blow up the carrier at all, and it's also worth two hundred dollars. So it's a pretty cheap windmill. <laughs> Again, I don't think they spent much time making sure this game was internally consistent with this logic. Yeah, I, I think they like <laughs> just tried to come up with some semblance of a story. But that was sort of an afterthought. Is money just your score? Can you buy stuff? It's like a score. Yeah. You can't really do anything with it. It's related to you getting uh, like the points that you get for leveling your rating. So. Alright. And don't you need like a certain amount of money to get like the 100 percent things? Uh, no, there's actually stuff you can blow up that's worth a lot of money that you don't need for 100%. Oh, okay. It's kind of weird. It's kind of inconsistent that way. I like all the promotion games. So is it Blast Corps or Blast Corps? Core. Okay. There's no E. <laughs> Blast Corps sounds like an interesting game, too. <laughs> Alright, I saved this level for last because this was everyone's Corps. least favorite level. Yeah. 
because nobody likes using this vehicle. Um, this is the backlash. You have to slide sideways into stuff. If you try to run into it, it just like farts out rubble and you don't blow anything up. And this level is like a really long set of train tracks that you can't drive over. You have to drive under them and you have to blow up stuff on both sides of the train tracks. So it's this like balancing act and it's it's really hard. All the previous levels where you use this vehicle you can get away by just like pushing it down if you're lucky. Um, you can't get lucky here. When you had the first casualty of the poker game. Yeah! yeah. Oh. Nice so, it's like you went out with a bang. Yes. Well, it started with a bang. I should have <laughs> went out with a... You know, whimper? <laughs> yeah, not so much a whimper. It's sort of passing out the table. Yeah, Nicolera, Nicolera sort of was uh, being really chaotic and got 600 on what I thought was going to be a good full house. Turned out that his uh, spare full house card was higher than mine. Are those uh, 600 speed win dollars? <laughs> no, that's the Canadian tire money. So when you say you can't go on the train tracks, you mean it just blocks you? Yeah, like yeah. It, it just doesn't want me. Yeah, so they're not so much invisible walls as they are very visible tracks. See, that's okay. As long as you can see them. But they're train tracks. And I don't know. I mean, if they were massive barbed wire... That, that truck if, they would were, be... if they were like huge walls of barbed wire uh, garden controlled by tigers, maybe they would be able to... You don't this is a, this drive is a through game buildings so you can't drive over the train tracks. This, yeah. this is a game for children. You can't... Teach them to make them yeah. down on the train tracks. They're gonna do it with dead. And yet, if you teach them that it's okay to blow stuff, blow buildings up with bulldozers, as long as you're trying to escort a, uh, a thing with a nuke in it. Yeah, I think that's the entire point of the game. It's a problem. <laughs> I don't ever follow. I just like to uh, accentuate the negative and everything I see. I mean, you'd be surprised. All right, I'm close on time. Some of the okay. Yeah. All right. Good enough. Yeah, that's funny. What? Okay, time. Uh, oh yeah, a new PR. Wow. <laughs> One hand PR. <laughs> I stopped it a little late there too, so it might have been pretty Wait, you did it one hand, we gotta clap it one hand. Alright, so is there still a bunch of time left over? Because I can just screw around uh, and do some bubbles. It's like five minutes before the next round. Alright, I'll let the next round set up then. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah it's gonna take a while to switch over. Yeah. Okay. Actually, it won't. So, where is Half Life okay. to be? Um, where is the screen?